a beginner's first ever short game lesson. Let's do it. And let's do it now. Play it like a putt, and then it's going to run over. See, I did. Oh, spooned it. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel and this is your very first time watching my content, first of all, welcome to the channel. Second of all, please make sure you don't leave before you hit that subscribe button below. On this channel, I bring you guys golf related content every single day. Hopefully to help you raise your game, generally to help you lower that handicap, but mainly just to get you enjoying golf more than ever before. This is another episode of the Beginner's Race to Dubai. If you haven't seen, we are taking a complete beginner golfer from here in Cyprus, Aphrodite Hills, where he's not from here, but that's where we are this week, and we're going to see if he can break 100 in Dubai in a couple of months' time. As, as always, I want you to be a part of my content, and by that I mean I want you to hit those comments below. In this video, I want you to comment below what do you think was the hardest part of golf when you were a beginner, when you first started? For me, I think it might have been short games, so this is quite an interesting video. Anyway, let's get back to it. How are we doing, Mr Fox? Fine and dandy. Good. What are your thoughts on the club that we've now got in hand today? It's a bit different, isn't it? It's a little bit different. There's more, what's the word we keep using in the lessons? Loft. Loft, because we're not an American, it's not an attic. Yep. And we're going to try and play some little finesse shots around these greens. Is finesse in your vocabulary? No, definitely not. That's a lovely hat you've got on as well, by the way, though. Okay. So just before we properly get into it guys, I should mention we are here at Aphrodite Hills in Cyprus. We're here thanks to the guys at Golf Mates Travel. What a fantastic venue this is. It is unbelievable, especially for what we're trying to do. We've got the facilities, we've got the golf course, we've got pretty much everything we would want, haven't we mate? Correct. And the beer's not bad either. Oof. Oof. We're going to do exactly the same as what we've done in the other videos and we're basically going to let you have a go. And then from there we're going to make a few tweaks, a few maybe major changes and we'll see exactly how we get on around the green. So. We did actually venture out on the golf course yesterday and short game was something we struggled with because, well, we, we hadn't done it, have we? No. So, um, let's start by going to this nearest flag here. Yep. We've got a pitching wedge, so we're going to play what's called a bump and run shot. So all that is, is a shot that stays nice and close to the ground. And I'm even going to play you one to start with so you can get a bit of a visual as to what we need to do. Cool. So take a note in how I'm setting up, how my hands are, where the club is, generally width of stance, things like that as well, and then from there, we can have a go. Okay, not in, but we'll take it. Yeah. Shall I go? Yeah, let's have a go. Good effort, mate. Really good effort, that. Really glad I played a good one now, so you didn't get inside me. Let's go again. See, now one thing I get from all our lessons is how visual you are. So once you see something, recreating, it's not too difficult, is it? Mm. I had, a, I had a good look at you first time. It yeah. I feel like you were a lot closer together with, you, with your stance. And we should probably say, you have got a bit of a sporting background for people who haven't seen the videos before. So, you play cricket, which, like we keep saying, is like baseball, but rubbish. Good effort. Could it be? Could it be? Go! Get legs! Oh. Great effort. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see you play half a dozen, then we're going right. to start critiquing a little bit. Nope. That's one we don't want, that's in the, uh, the Aphrodite pond. <laughs> good. Have you noticed how your good shots just pop up? Yeah. Pop straight up. Do you know why that is? No idea. So if you look at the club, so hold the club up so we can all see it. There you go. So looking at that club now, obviously we know that there's an angle there, which we know is called loft. And what we're trying to do is get the ball to react from that. So, so from there, Obviously, it's just going to pop straight up in the air. Yeah. So, from there, I'm going to try and utilise this loft to get the ball to pop up in the air. So, if I try and flick the ball in the air, which we had on a couple of the other lessons, didn't we? The, the iron lesson and even the driver lesson, the key's always been to get the club moving down into the ball yeah. and then let the ball pop up in the air. So, if I try and flick it in the air, it doesn't, doesn't work, does it? And no. it ends up just... We have no distance control and it doesn't end very well. If I let, if I use the weight of the club, let it fall onto the ball, get a downward motion, just like the other shots we've been playing, the ball reacts with the loft and pops in the air. That, that wasn't fantastic, but I've gotten away with it. Yeah. So what we don't want to see is trying to 
help it in the air all the weight moving away from the target and hinging the wrists I'd rather see weight moving towards the target handle a little bit forward not way forward like that because that's going to present a real sharp edge into the ground and then you see uh -oh, that shot which is no good for anyone but we do want to see just a little movement to get the ball rolling in the air that one must be in surely oh. Oh. But I'll tell you what, the setup looks really, really good. I'm going to put on screen you one of your first efforts now of a chip shot, and you just stood like a normal shot, didn't you? And that's because the teacher was rubbish and didn't really tell you what to do. <laughs> oh no. Nice. Real nice. That's fantastic, mate, that. And what do you notice about all these shots, even the good shots? What trajectory are they coming out at? Little, just coming up a little bit. They're they? just, just little ones, aren't they? They're not, they're not rising up in the air. They're not, no. they're not high. They're just nice and low. So what we'll get to in a few minutes is further in the bag. We've got a few wedges for you. I'll tell you what, it's played a beauty there. Well, I'm not watching as well. We'll go into the bag, get some wedges. So we've got 56, and we've got a lob wedge as well. And there, that's when you'll see how you can maybe play higher shots as well. Well, if we mix it up now and we say instead of going to this hole that we're going to call the comfort zone, we go a bit further afield over there. Middle one. Middle one, yeah. So if we relate this to the putting lesson that we did, what do you feel like you're going to have to do to the, the stroke? Um, maximise, well not maximise the stroke, but just a little bit further. Just a little bit further, yeah. Use the weight of the club, get more speed, get more distance. Setup stays the same. I'll tell you what, he's going to be good at this, I can see it. Any other beginners who can chip like that first thing? Can you relate this to your cricket at all? Uh, no, not really, not this. No. Oh, that is absolutely... It's like a deft touch, isn't it? Just tried to help that one a little bit. You could see your hands kind of work up through the ball then instead of down. So we still want... A little bit of a downward motion. Ah, I'm falling over. We still want a little bit of a downward motion here, so your low point wants to be kind of in line with that. So the ball's then going to project up. We don't want the low point at the ball. We don't want it in front of the ball. It needs to be about in line with there. So your low point, if I was being hypercritical, was there, and the ball was here. Yeah. So I'm Sorry, this is a Fanta lemon. It is warm. <laughs> Should have put that down, really. Love it. And that sound is what all golfers want when they're chipping. So when you're saying low points, that is that when I need to be like, I suppose here, but I need to continue through here. Absolutely. So if, if I have a club that moves round on an arc here, you see how the club moves up, then down, yeah, then up. Yeah. So the low point is the lowest point before it starts working back up. Right. So if I were to have, so if I were to have a golf ball here, I would want the low point just after the ball so I can clip it up in the air there so you see how it's just popped up if the low point was behind it I might catch the ground heavy like we said earlier right. and if it's too far forward I'll thin it and it'll just go too far yeah, yeah. let's go a couple more low ones then we'll introduce a little bit more loft and see if we can get you playing them around like Seve Ballesteros good effort see even that I don't mind it's not fantastic but it's in it's a chance at a putt and it's a two putt range at worst so the big thing for me here is that if a beginner is developing a short game the technique's okay the strike's generally okay then distance control will come with practice it will come with playing with experience as long as we get the strikes there or thereabouts and you're not thinning them straight into the clubhouse or or leaving them there which you've not really done why don't you thinned one yeah um, then i'm really happy with that progress so far good effort Right, so now we're going to introduce loft and we're not just going to go sand wedge because that's boring. We're going to go lob wedge. I've brought you a nice little Callaway Jaws 60 degree brand. I don't think they're even out yet these, but they're, they're coming out anyway. So, so we'll go with that. When you look at that compared to the pitching wedge, what do you see? Uh, go on. Go on loft. Exactly that. So I'll give you a clue. The pitching wedge there is about 46 degrees loft. 
and obviously the 60 degrees, 60 degrees loft. So you've got quite a lot more loft there. Yep. Now, if we play exactly the same shot with that 60 degree, what would you expect to happen? Uh, the ball is going to get up a bit more. Exactly that. Get up a bit more. It's probably not going to go as far as well. So let's go back to this short zone and play some with the lob wedge now. Right, so lob wedge, ball in the same position. We're not trying to loft it up too much. Just play the same shot. And this is what a lot of people, not just beginner golfers, can learn from. Use different clubs in the same fashion to play different shots. Use a 60 degree out the middle of your stance and see how it goes. Then use a sand wedge from the middle of the stance. Use a pitching wedge, a 9-9, see how they all go. Then from there, you're gonna have a much wider arsenal of shots. So many people spend loads of money on different wedges. 60 degree, 56, 52, 48, 42. That wouldn't be a wedge, but anyway. And then they just use them all differently. Try and use them differently. And then they don't get the money's worth. They end up keeping them in the bag and just going back to the 9-9 bump and run every time. Sorry, mate. I got a bit carried away there. It's all right. Right. Short shot. There's nothing in your way. So you probably would never do this, but we're just going to see how the loft affects it. Absolutely glorious, that. I'm sure you've not done this before? Well... Very badly yesterday, we know that. <laughs> and, I, and one thing which I've not had to tell you, which I did have to tell you in other lessons, soft hands. I can see how soft they are from here. Oh, a little bit firm. So what we need to do now, we are going to put you in a few more sticky situations in a minute because you're actually progressing really well. And I want to see how you can do from kind of the rough and things like that. But I want you to play three shots with that 60 degree. One in the middle of your stance one at the back of your stance and one at the front so right. one back foot one middle one front foot and i want you to kind of see how the ball reacts differently with the same shot okay so, so this is front yeah yep good really good that's exactly what i would expect how did you how did that react compared to what you expected uh, i don't think it went quite as far yeah it just it just popped up didn't it yeah yep. So imagine more speed with that, it's going to go even higher. Yep. Now go middle of the stance, which I think you've been doing anyway, to be fair. Yeah. Good. Pops out a little bit lower. Now go back of the stance, so you're going to probably lean the handle forward a touch. Yep. yep. So what would you say about that one? Uh, it's trajectory just, wasn't as high. Just lower and firmer, wasn't yeah. it? So come out a little bit more fiery really 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 good really impressed with that now now we're going to have a little bit of fun with it and we're going to put him there's a few swallows and swales down there try saying that quickly swallows and swales with some rough as well so let's see how we do with that we're going to stick with the lob wedge for now so it's easy enough when there's nothing in your way but what about if you're down here in the rough oh look at this for a shot now so imagine this now, turn around, you're going to be met with a shock. Be better off throwing it up, mate. You probably would be better off throwing it up, you're right, but we're going to play to that one up there that's in line with our bag. Beautiful bag, that as well. I always get nice comments about that bag. And what do you think you're going to have to do? So, yeah, it's not lying badly uh, in the rough. Right, I'm going to have to try and get it up. Exactly, try and get a little bit of height. Yeah. So yeah. potentially play it a little bit forward in the stands. Yeah, I'll turn my front foot. And then what are you going to need to get the distance to get it up the slope? Yeah. I've had quite a long, bit of long speed, stroke. just a bit of speed, yeah. Yeah, a bit of speed. Meep, meep. Doing golf, that would be a penalty, but not a bad effort. Well, they're that picky. Go again? Well, you're not on the green, mate, to be fair. I'm trying to coach you to break 100 here in Dubai. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. Very Dubai like conditions here at Aphrodite Hills as well. Okay, that was actually technique wise very good. One thing wrong with it, and I'm going to show you. And like we said, you are quite visual, so you should learn from it a little bit. Now, with this lob wedge, obviously there's 60 degrees of loft on it anyway, but generally what I would do down here is just open it up a fraction so there's a little bit more loft on it. Rather than being square face, you can just tweak it open a touch, and like I said, you get a bit more loft. From there, I'm going to have the ball at the front of the stance like you were doing to get it up in the air. My weight stays left, and because the face is open, See how they have given it a much longer stroke, yeah. and as you can see, it's quite quite good. That it will take that. So yeah, I'd take that. I'd take that. Hold that. There you go. That's probably erring more into the side of a pitch shot than a chip, but I think this probably calls for it. To be fair, if I tried, sorry, I'm just really enjoying myself here. Facilities are pretty good, aren't they? Mm. If I tried to play it square faced, I could still get it out there. But you 
see how it's gone to it's like land and then run hasn't it yeah so if we get it to go higher it lands softer and we don't have to worry about it running too far yeah yeah there you go very advanced this though for a beginner i think we'd all all agree that good really good just probably a touch short but we got it up on the green and all i'm expecting from you i'm not even expecting it to be there but all i'm wanting from you here is to get it on the green and get put in save yourself Oh, I'll tell you what. Yeah. Thoughts? Feels nice, feels good. If the technique's like right, bit, yeah. which yours is very, very good, actually, you're going to kill me to say this, but I can't believe how good that is. It's good, isn't it? I like it. For, for a beginner especially, I mean, I think, it, do you think it helps not having played lots of golf, trying to figure it out for yourself and then move definitely. away from habits? Definitely, definitely. Coaching's obviously, it's definitely helped me a miles straight. Is that what you did with your cricket and rugby and stuff, rather than going and just playing, have a bit of coaching and then, obviously from there you... No, no, my, I struggled with cricket just because I tried picking it up, to be yeah. honest, so... Alright, very good. Let's play one more from down here, then we're going to finish on some little, real little bump and run shots. That's incredible. It really, really is. I think that's closer than my effort as well. I have had seven. <laughs> okay, so we've done normal chip shots, little bump and run pitching wedge. We've done lob wedge down a great slope, which was, if I can explain to you how deep that slope is, you probably wouldn't be able to see us down there, would you? When we're, well, no, you might see me, you might see, you might see your shoulders, I suppose. But. <laughs> now, this is an eight iron. And you're probably thinking, well, I usually hit this about 130, 40, 50, 60 yards. So why are we using it around the greens? I'd definitely go more to 100, to be honest, James. <laughs> well, it is a strong lofted pitching wedge, but when we, uh, a time, but when we do get fitted with the Mizuno clubs, you never know, because that's coming as well, isn't it? Yep. Now, hold that. Now, what do you notice when you put this down as opposed to that? Obviously, we saw the difference in the pitching wedge. Oh, a lot less. Huge difference in loft there. Probably a, a 30... Yeah, about a 30 degree difference in loft. And what about the shaft length as well? Uh, it's a longer shaft. Eight times longer shaft, obviously. It's a longer lever. It's designed to go a lot further. So when we're chipping with this, we are going to grip down more towards the white in that grip. We've got a multi-compound oh. grip on that, which helps us out. Grip down towards the steel. Imagine if you were drawing a fine picture or a painting, you would always hold down towards the lead or the brush. Yeah. So that, that gives you a bit more control as well. Now, generally what we're going to try and do here with this a time is just play a little bit of a bump and run. So I'd never play an a time when I'm chipping from the front of the stands because that would be pointless. We're not trying to get it airborne. We're trying to get it running as quick as possible. So I'm going to pick a bit of a landing area. And by that, I mean where I don't want the ball to land before it runs. So with an a time, it's going to be here and then just run all the way on. Whereas with a lob wedge, it might be well, all the way towards the hole. Yeah. So this is what a lot of people call playing percentages. So I don't worry about too much where it lands, just more play it like a putt and then it's going to run. You see I didn't hit that very well, all the strike was okay, but it's there very very good. If I were to play a shot with the lob wedge now, all of a sudden this starts to look a bit more complicated doesn't it? I have to get the strike right, I have to get the distance right, I have to get loads of things right. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Played that really nicely and it's run on to about 15 feet so it shows that the percentage play is keeping it lower to the ground okay have a go with that uh, front of the stance back of the stance because we're trying to play so the when the ball's in the stance the relationship is always about the trajectory, trajectory. do we want it high do we want it low lower, yeah. yeah awesome technique just too far I think it's still on the green, no it's just gone. So what do we change? Uh, stroke length. Absolutely mate. It's good. So you didn't catch it perfectly but we're on the green and we're putting. And that's the big thing for me. The big thing with short game or even golf, you ready for this? How bad is your bad? Because if it's terrible then you're terrible but if it's not bad, you're not bad. You like that? I like that. It's a bit of a <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
it's just so, so that's such a good technique. I've, we're not playing for money out on the golf course now. Is this was the only thing that let you down? Good man. You can see it breaking to the right. So when we spoke about putting yeah, and the so. undulations, that, that comes in now here as well. Bit firm, but it's aggressive. Fine. Right mate, I think we're going to finish that there. That is awesome. One more. One more. Can't get enough. This one's in, surely. I'll tell you what, if you're anything like me, I could spend all day on something like this. Yeah. Because you, you kind of see the rewards. On, on the range you don't always see um, like a finished article, but here it either goes in, it doesn't go in, or or it finishes close. Something to win. So guys, that was a total and utter beginner golfer's first ever short game lesson. And I mean, hit those comments below. I think he's done exceptionally well there. Well done. Very, very good, mate. Fantastic. Yes, the road you. to Dubai is well and truly on. And if you have a short game like that around, I'm not going to say which course it is yet because we're not going to ruin it, but somewhere in Dubai, then I can see you breaking 100 no problem as long as you can put, which we've done a putting lesson. It's okay. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Do you've enjoyed that. If you have enjoyed it, make sure you check out the driver video, the putting video, the iron video, the blade video, which is the first one we put on. Uh, that was a, a laugh for me. I enjoyed that one. Yeah, so, guys, once again, thanks for watching. If you are new here and you haven't already, make sure you do hit that subscribe button below. Leave us a like if you enjoy that content, because that lets us know that you know, that he knows, that I know, that we know, that they know, that you're enjoying the content. And as always, we'll see you tomorrow. Can I go practice now? Is that all right? You got the bug, mate? A little bit, yeah. Go on then, you get yourself off. Huh? Chilly. <laughs>